Yep. I've given up stuff. A lot of stuff to get out of debt. And today I'm going to tell you five things I've stopped buying to get out of debt. And be sure to watch out for bonus number six. This one will come as a surprise to you. Hey guys, today I am collabing with Tiffany from Simple Wife, Simple Life. I love, love, love her channel. And if you don't know her channel, I'll put a link down in the description box. So for those of you coming over from Tiffany's channel on my channel, we talk momming, but not just like how to take care of your kids momming, taking care of yourself, taking care of your finances, how to be a good, well-rounded mom. And I'll, I'm using my life as an example because sometimes I fail a lot and hard. So today we're talking about five things I have stopped buying to get out of debt. Now, I did a video recently where I talked about five changes that we've made to get out of debt. And this is not similar because a lot of those things, there's I think one overlap. These are things that I physically go out and buy that I'm not buying anymore because we are paying off our debt as quickly as possible. And they are things that we have decided that we don't need right now. And they are things I will tell you that will probably come back once we are out of debt. The first thing we've given up is electronics. Mauricio is a gadget freak. And for those of you who don't know Mauricio, this is Mauricio. Hola. Mauricio normally looks more excited about life, but for whatever reason, he just wants to look miserable right now. And that, wait, hold on, let me see. Wait, wait, this way, and this right here. Wait, stop moving! <laughs> this is Melina, she's my daughter. You guys all know me. Well, this bit, oh. <laughs> Did I roll over your tongue? You wonder why I look miserable? <laughs> I just rolled over Mauricio's toe. Mauricio is a total gadget freak. He loves all things tech and he always wants to have the newest and the best. So what we have agreed is that while we are getting out of debt, there is no new tech purchases. Now, so unless it is deemed to be work related for Mauricio, we're not getting it. Mm -mm, no, no, nope unless my computer dies. It could happen Then we'll buy a computer, but we'll buy it with cash and that's the way it is. The next thing we are not buying, now this isn't a physical thing, but it is definitely something that we are not purchasing. We are not eating out. We have our blow money every week, which is $20 for each of us, that we can spend anything we want. I go out to lunch once a week with my coworkers and I generally spend between 15 and $20 on that. Mauricio, he also spends his blow money on food. So for the most part, when he eats out, it's with cash. Every once in a while, he'll, he'll use the debit card and then I'll yell at him a lot. A lot, a lot. But we don't go out on date nights. We don't go out to dinner. We don't go out like we used to. I miss it a lot, actually. It um, Date nights have become like, like the budget meeting is pretty much what we do for date night. And every once in a while, my parents will go somewhere and Mauricio and I will rent a movie on their cable usually a free one because <laughs> we don't want to have to pay for a movie. <laughs> I know we've gotten out of control cheap. Um, and we will watch that. And then that's like our date night, but we don't, we don't go out. The next thing, I think I've mentioned this before, but for the most part, we don't buy clothes and I miss it. I miss it a lot. Um, when we need absolutely need something, we'll write it into the budget, not having a clothing budget, you know, only buying things that are absolutely a necessity, that has been super helpful for us. You know, it really does impact the budget well, not, not buying clothes all the time. The fourth thing I talked about in that other video, and that's beauty luxuries. Now, when I say beauty luxuries, pretty much everything beauty related is a luxury in my book. I will, I do spend money still on a couple of makeup things, but I only need those about every six months. So, you know, twice a year I spend $50. But for the most part, I don't get my nails done. And look, 
that is sad. I, so I would show you my feet, but oh my goodness, my feet are so disgusting. I have stuff to give myself a home pedicure, but I don't do a very good job. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty lousy at it actually. And as I have told you a million times, I don't go to the hair salon anymore to get my hair colored. Now my hair is looking a little brassy today. I will tell you, I still do buy quality shampoo and conditioner. I, I spend quite a bit, but in the same vein, I no longer wash my hair every day. I used to wash my hair every day, but I now I use dry shampoo and I generally go like three days without washing my hair. And I find that the shampoo and conditioner as a result lasts, you know, obviously if it lasted a month before, it now lasts three months. So it, it has actually helped save us money. Really the final thing is a very broad category, but it's true. It's impulse shopping. Me thinking of something, I'm like, oh, that would be nice to have, and buying it. We, I would go shopping and I would just buy things that I thought I would need or I thought were cool. And now I don't do that anymore. I don't get on Amazon unless it's a legit purchase that I need. And I did a video on um, how we've stopped impulse purchasing on the internet. And I'll link to that in the eye in the sky. I really do follow these things. Like I'll put something in the basket on Amazon and I'll sit on it. If it's not in the plan, it doesn't get bought. And if it's something I really need and it can wait, I put it in next month's budget. Bonus number six, this one will come as a surprise to you. Costco. We don't go to Costco anymore at all. And I will tell you, I love Costco. Love, 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 love Costco. But when we were moving out of our house in Mexico, we had so much stuff that we bought at Costco that we had to get rid of and give to people because we couldn't pack it out. It made me realize that we spent a lot of money at Costco that we didn't need to spend. So we did not renew our membership when we moved up here and haven't paid for it in two years. And one thing I really discovered is we did a lot of impulse purchasing at Costco. So if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button down below or on my big laughing face to subscribe. And if you'd like to see my latest video, that one's up here. And this video is one that YouTube picked just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.